Hi, Head Start friends. We're gonna talk a little bit about seasons. And then after we're done, we're gonna do some cutting. So you're gonna need your scissors. You got a paper in your packet that looks like this. It has lines to cut on. You'll look what they look like in a minute. On every paper, there is something that shows something that comes in the season summer. There are four seasons, fall, winter, spring, which we're in right now. And what comes after spring? Fall, winter, spring, summer. Summer is coming. So all of these pictures that you'll see on your paper have something to do with summer. I'm only going to cut one of these on each page. You're going to cut all of them to get that practice cutting. So let's look at the first page. Let me bring it up. What is on there? These are things we see in the summer. Summertime is when it gets hot outside. The flowers are already blossomed because they're blossoming right now in the springtime. Um, what kind of things do you do in the summer? Sometimes people go swimming in the summer. Sometimes people like to go hiking in the summer because it's nice and warm out. I love to go to the beach in the summer because that's one of my favorite places. We wear different clothes in the summer than we did in the winter. Remember in the winter, what kind of clothes did we wear when the snow was on the ground? That was winter time. What kind of clothes did we wear? I know I had to wear my winter coat if I went outside. I had to wear boots if there was snow on the ground. But do we wear that in the summertime? No. See this little girl? She has on a nice little summer dress. Let's cut the line. We'll start at the bottom and we'll cut all the way up to the little girl with her summer dress on. Let's do that together. Then you can do the other ones by yourself. See how Miss Phil has her hands in the scissors? And then remember, follow the line, cut all the way up. I'm trying really hard to stay on the line. And that's what you should do too. Do your best, try really hard to stay on the line. And there, I made it to the little girl. The other things that are on this paper that you can cut to is, what is this? Do you know what that is? That is a starfish. Sometimes you see them at the beach and everybody knows what this is, right? Do we eat ice cream a lot more in the summertime because it cools us down? We do. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, look what's on here. We've got a sand castle because you can play outside in your sandbox and make a castle or maybe at a beach or a lake where there's sand. Do you know what this is? This is something you can put in water and you can float inside of it. It holds you up. And here's a little boy with his summer clothes on. So should we cut, let's cut up to the sand castle. Let's go with our scissors, okay? I'm gonna, ooh, and this is not a straight line, is it? This line has curves. So I might have to turn my hand or turn my paper so that I can follow those lines with my scissors. This Phil's turning her paper a little bit each time that she has a curve to get where the line curves with my scissors. There, I made it up to the sand castle. And you can do the rest. You can go to the inner tube, you can go to the little boy. All right, what is on the next one? Oh, these lines are different. They go up, 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 over, up, over, up, over. That's a zigzag line. Now, what pictures do we have? What do you use an umbrella for in the summer? A couple different things. You can use it if it rains. You can use it at a, a beach or a lake. And if the sun is too hot, you can sit underneath your umbrella. What kind of shoes do we often wear in the summer? These are called flip-flops and they keep our feet off the ground, but our feet are cool because 
It's not a big shoe, it's a flip flop. This one is a, called a beach chair. Because we do a lot of sitting outside in the summertime, you can sit in your yard in your chair, you can sit by the beach or a lake by in your chair. So let's cut up to the umbrella. What kind of a line did I say this was? A zigzag line. So we're gonna go up and over and up and over all the way up. Now I need my scissors again and I'm gonna hold my paper. And I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna follow that line. Oh, but it's turning, so I'm gonna have to turn my scissors to follow that line. And it turned again on me. Gotta follow those lines. Up and over and up and over. One more. Oops, I've gotta get all the way over there. Up and over, and did I make it to the umbrella? I did, and look what happened when I cut following that line. It made a zigzag out of my paper. And you can do the rest. Use your scissors, cut up to the flip-flops, cut up to the chair. One more paper, what's on this one? Well, these are curvy lines. Do you think we can use our scissors and follow the curvy line? I think we can do that. We've got a few things on here. Do you know what this kind of animal is? It floats in the water. It, it is usually in the ocean. It's called a jellyfish. Have you ever seen a jellyfish before? You don't want to touch jellyfish because they stink. So when you see a jellyfish, swim away from it. They do sting and it hurts. What's this? A surfboard? You might have used a surfboard or a boogie board. If you've ever been to the ocean, people like to use them in the water. And look at this bucket. And what's in the bucket? Sand and a shovel. Do you have a bucket and a shovel to play in sand? Do you have a sandbox at home? If you do, you probably have a bucket and a shovel. Or once again, if you go somewhere where you can dig, take your bucket and shovel. So we're gonna follow this line all the way up to the, what's that called? Jellyfish. Let's go up to the jellyfish. Follow that curved line. This really makes me turn my paper because it helps me to turn the paper to follow the line. So I'm holding it with one hand and I'm cutting it with my other hand. And my paper is turning so that I can get to those curves. This one's a little harder you're gonna to have to really follow those lines and try hard to see where they go. I am cutting still. I'm almost to the top. How are you doing? Are you cutting with me? All the way up to that jellyfish. I'm almost there. I have to turn my paper again though because I'm gonna go all the way up to that jellyfish where the line stops. There we go. I made it. Did you make it to the jellyfish? Okay, so you can go ahead. Use your scissors. Practice, practice, practice by following the lines on all four of your papers. And you can think about the fun things that are coming because summer is coming very soon. Bye, friends.